Welcome to Astral Log Index Zero. This is a series where I share the business and development process of taking a startup called Astral Fans and turning it into a billion dollar unicorn company that is going to the stars. We're gonna talk business first because I wanna be crystal clear with what I'm building. Astral Fans is not gonna be selling physical air conditioning fans. It's not gonna be hosting any kind of adult content and Astral Fans is not a quiz app. So this is my pitch V2 and I want you to just pretend that you're not a software engineer making 500K total compensation. Instead, you're some kind of business juggernaut making 500 million total compensation and you're looking at me and you're wondering, hmm, what's this kid got to say? The goal of Astral Fans is not just to be a community app, but to be a gated community app for the super fans of a creator. Problem is, creators have no idea who their top fans are. When they post on social media, there is a sea of comments and fans in there that they may recognize a few faces here or there, but for the most part, you have no idea if this fan has been commenting on every single one of your posts for the last seven years, or maybe that they've been just following you from last week. It's important for a creator to know who their super fans are and create a community around that, not just because it creates an echo chamber of positivity for themselves where they're never wrong and always right, but also because these are the fans that are most likely to financially compensate the creator. These are the fans that give the best feedback. These are the fans that actually respond to call to actions. When you need somebody to drive two hours to come to your event to volunteer, these are the fans that are willing to do that. Creators know this is important too. We've talked about 10 pretty large creators now that have wanted to set up communities like this and just didn't know how or didn't like any of the existing platforms to actually set it up on aka basically just Discord. The creators we talked to didn't want to use it because they found it confusing and complex, which seems to be a common sentiment among other people as well. And Discord right now is pretty much the only platform with any kind of market share to build these type of private communities. There are other options that are tangentially related like Patreon that you can identify some top fans with that, but they're more focused on financially supporting the creator than actually building a community. If you go onto any creator's Patreon feed as a fan, you can like and comment on a post, but you can't actually post any content for yourself. So it's basically a one-sided relationship. OnlyFans is kind of in the same boat with their feed being one-sided. So I can view posts for my favorite creator on OnlyFans. I can like and comment on their posts, but I can't actually post anything myself. Plus to use their website, you have to be in an incognito browser. So you have to type in your password every time you go to OnlyFans, which is really annoying. Not to mention the massive stigma attached to OnlyFans where content creators that are not doing adult content don't want to touch the platform with a 68 inch pole. And they've talked about opening it up and making it more mainstream where other content creators can do things on the platform. But unless they do a massive rebranding, I'm not remotely worried about competing with OnlyFans. I think the only thing I'm worried about is if Patreon CEO happens to be watching this video, gets massively inspired to change their entire product, and improves the execution of their app by a substantial amount. So Jack, if you're watching this video, if you could just keep scrolling, that would be great. The second missing piece from Patreon and OnlyFans is the way that they filter down fans to find super fans is by charging them money. And this is something that we're looking to do in Astral Fans as well, because it's important for creators to make money to keep making content. But at the same time, they are missing a chunk of super fans that are not able to afford $15 a month. I might be a 16 year old kid that makes no money right now, but I follow content creators and I'm very passionate about it. And I'd love to use my time to help them out, whether it's giving them feedback, volunteering, and those are just being totally excluded right now with Patreon and OnlyFans. That's why with Astral Fans, the main way that we want people to join the community is by proving that they are a fan of the creator, not necessarily paying money. And this may be in the form of taking a quiz, a game, a contest to show that you know stuff about the creator. Not only does this add an element of hype where fans are competing in a contest to get into the community, but the community's average member is going to be more high quality compared to a community where just anyone's let in. It also just feels special and meaningful to know that you got into one of these communities. For example, I became a fan of the streamer Pokimane in the last 30 seconds, and if I join her community discord of 150,000 people, it doesn't feel special. It feels like I'm walking into a McDonald's. I didn't do anything to get here. I didn't sacrifice anything. I'm just another one of the 150,000 simps foaming at the mouth, hoping to get noticed and knowing it'll never happen. The experience we want with Astral Fans is for it to feel like a 10-star Michelin restaurant where it's not open to the public. You got specially invited in as a reward for being loyal to the creator and only a select few are in there. There you go. That's my pitch. Now it's your job as the business mongol with $500 million to decide how much of your capital that you're going to be allocating to Astral Fans. So 
let me know. I'm going to wait until the designs are done to show you the entire flow of the app. But the basic concept is the fan is going to take a quiz. It's going to be similar to kind of HQ trivia style, if you've heard of that app, where they're all going to be taking it at a certain time in parallel. And then some number of those users will get invited to a community that's going to be kind of the equivalent of a friendlier private subreddit where there's going to be a feed of posts. Don't get too caught up in the quiz aspect of things. We're going to be customizing the thing that you do to get into the communities per each influencer that we work with. Some of them are going to want to do a quiz. Others, we may do like a selfie contest where the top 50 selfies get into the community or maybe Mr. Beast style where the last 200 people to leave their finger on their phone get in or something like that. Okay, let's talk about the name now, Astral Fans. Some people felt like the name sounded like a kinky astrology only fans knockoff and recommended changing it. Like they just wanted to take the fans part and have it gone, so it's just called Astral. Or they just want a totally different name altogether. At first, it's like, okay, I kind of see it. Like Astral is kind of a cleaner name too, but so many people commented on the name and disliking it, by the way that I knew I just had to keep it. The name is staying as Astral Fans. We're not gonna be renaming it to Astral. You're just gonna have to live your life hearing me say the word Astral Fans. And as the company gets closer to becoming a billion dollar unicorn, you're gonna to have to hear on the news the word Astral Fans. Then you're gonna to have to hear your friends say the word Astral Fans. And then for the grand finale, five years from now, when we've gone past mainstream, you're gonna to have to hear your mom talking about the Astral Fans group that she joined. On the dev side of things, we're realistically about a month or so away from having any sort of version of the app on the App Store unless Apple graces us with an unrealistically fast app review process, which is just not going to happen. But this is going to be for our private beta where we're going to work with influencers on a one-on-one -on -one basis to make sure the entire process goes really smoothly. The main bottleneck right now is the design of the app. We're still finalizing what everything's going to look like. And then I'm going to be the bottleneck actually coding the designs, but I'm hoping in like the next two weeks that we're going to have a good chunk of everything done. One of the things I'm doing differently with this app is having users log in with their phone number instead of a username and password, which is something I usually avoid just because of how expensive it is to actually send text messages. For comparison, I can send 100,000 emails using SendGrid for about $30 versus using Twilio to send 100,000 text messages for $750. So it's quite a bit more, but we're just gonna kind of bite the bullet and do it anyway. The main advantage of using phone numbers to log in is it's a lot harder for users to create a bunch of fake accounts. Someone can still buy a bunch of phone numbers, but for the most part, it cuts down on spam and bot accounts by a lot. And you really only have tryhards that are going in and getting extra phone numbers. From a security point of view, the only concern is if somebody gets access to their phone number, they can log into your account. And there's a hacking technique called SIM swapping where I can call your cell phone provider, pretend I'm you, and if I convince them that I am you, they're going to send me a SIM card that I can use to access your phone number. While this can happen, I'm not too worried about it for Astral fans. I think you have bigger problems if your phone number gets stolen than them accessing your Astral fans account, but I'll probably add like two-factor auth at some point to protect against this anyway. That's it for this Astral log. Stay tuned until next video where hopefully I'll have some new designs to show you.